Today we're going to talk about simplifying expressions with the distributive property. First, let's refresh our memories on what the distributive property is. The distributive property allows us to multiply each term inside the parentheses by the number outside the parentheses. So algebraically we say a times the sum of b plus c and how I would distribute this property is I would multiply the a by the b and the a by the c. So I had a times b plus a times c. And that was that is how I distribute the a to both terms inside my parentheses. Here's another example. I need to distribute this a to both terms inside my parentheses. So I have a times b minus a times c. And I have distributed the a to both terms inside my parentheses. Be careful to watch your signs when multiplying positives and negatives. So here is an example for us to do. I know that I am going to be distributing this four with both terms inside my parentheses. And when I say distribute, I mean I am multiplying. So I know I'm gonna multiply four times x plus four times two. So four times x is four x plus four times two is eight. Here is my expression. Since I have distributed that four to the terms inside my parentheses. Another way that we can think about it, I have four groups of x plus two. I am multiplying four, I'm multiplying x plus two four times. So I have x plus 2, x plus 2, x plus 2, x plus 2. That is essentially what I am doing. So if I combine like terms, I have 4x's plus I have 8 in constants. So distributing, multiplying that value in front of your parentheses to all the terms inside your parentheses is essentially the same thing. Let's do some examples. Example one. Here is my example, my example expression. I need to distribute what's outside of my parentheses to both terms inside my parentheses. So I know that just having a negative sign in front means that, there's, that there is an invisible one there. So I'm going to multiply my negative one times five X plus I'm going to multiply negative one times negative seven because that's my term inside. So negative one times five X is negative five X plus negative one times negative seven is positive seven. Here is my expression now that I have distributed that number. Example two, I need to distribute 0 0.5 to both terms inside my parentheses. So I'm going to distribute 0 0.5 times my x plus 0 0.5 times my negative 9. So 0 0.5 times x is 0 0.5x plus 0 0.5 times negative 9 is going to be negative 4.5. Now this is one way to write it, negative 0.5x plus negative 4.5, or you might also see it written as 0.5x 
minus 4.5. This is my simplified expression. Now that we know how to distribute values to the terms inside our parentheses, now let's do an example where I'm going to distribute and then simplify. So, for example, in this problem here, I'm going to distribute negative 6 to both terms inside my parentheses. So, I'm going to have 14 all by itself plus negative 6 times 3 3x plus negative 6 times negative 1. So I have 14 plus negative 6 times 3x which is negative 18x plus negative 6 times negative 1, which is equal to 6. Now, I can combine like terms. So I'm going to take my 14, my constant, and my plus 6, my other constant. I'm going to combine them. So 14 plus 6 is 20. And then I have left this plus negative 18, which is the same thing as minus 18x. And here is my 